In this video, I want to take a look at arithmetic sequences. So to begin with here, let's just recap the definition of an arithmetic sequence. So for arithmetic sequences, the difference between each term is constant. Okay, so between each consecutive term, the amount we add on is constant. So what do we mean by that? Well, let's just pick a few examples here. Let's say we've got 2, 5, 8, 11. So this here would be an example of an arithmetic sequence. Because we go from term to term here, we just add 3. Okay, so plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. Okay, so that would be an example there of an arithmetic sequence. Another example here would be of a decrease in arithmetic sequence. Let's say we've got 10, 0, minus 10, minus 20. In this case here, this would be an example of an arithmetic sequence, but this time decreasing. Okay, so from term to term here, we're subtracting 10. So minus 10, minus 10, and again, minus 10 there. Okay. So let's just pick an example here now of a sequence that isn't arithmetic. So let's say we've got, um, say, 1, 3, 10, 30, and say 100. Okay, just an example here. So in this case, this wouldn't be a, an arithmetic sequence because from term to term, the rule isn't constant. So from 1 to 3, I need to add 2. From 3 to 10, I need to add 7. From 10 to 30, I need to add 20. That's plus 20. And then from 30 to 100, we need to add 70. Okay. But like you can see, it's not constant. So in that case, that wouldn't be an arithmetic sequence. Now, we also need the nth term here for an arithmetic sequence. And the way we denote the nth term here, so for the nth term, this is given as un is equal to a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. Okay, so a here, this represents the first term in our sequence. So that's the first term. And this d here, that represents the common difference. The common difference. So the common difference here is how much we add or subtract within our arithmetic sequence, okay? That's everything we need there for our introduction to arithmetic sequences. Really, this is just a recap of GCSE material, so hopefully it should be nice and straightforward. So now let's just take a look at a couple of practice questions. So we take a look at the very first question here. Like we can see, pretty basic. It is just GCSE material, really. So we've got the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, and that's given as un is equal to 4n plus 30. Now for part A, we're asked to find the first three terms of this arithmetic sequence. So what we need here is u1, that would be my first term, u2, and u3. So for u1 here, that's when n equals 1, so that's going to be 4 times 1, and then plus 30. In that case, I'm going to get 4 plus 30, giving me 34. My next term then in the sequence, that would be u2. That's going to be 4 times 2 plus the 30 again, that's going to be 8 plus 30 giving me 38. And then finally for my third term here that would be u3. So that's going to be 4 times 3 plus 30, and that's going to give me 42 there. Okay, that's the first three terms there for this arithmetic sequence. And then for part b here, we're asked to find the 150th term in this sequence. So to do that, we just need to use the nth term here. We're using un is equal to 4n plus 30. But in this case, what I need now is u 105. That would give me the 150th term in the sequence. So that's going to be 4 times 150, and then add 30. So 4 times 150, that would give me 600, plus the 30, that gives me 630 there. Okay. And there we have it, so that's our solution to part A and part B, giving us a solution to question one. So if we take a look at one more question here to finish with, we've got the first three terms of an arithmetic sequence, and they're given as Q, 10, and 4Q. So for part A, we're asked to find the value of Q. So to answer part A here, we just need to remember that the difference between each consecutive term 
is constant. So in other words, what we're saying here is 10 minus q, so 10 minus q must be equal to 4q minus 10. So all I need to do here now is solve for q. So add q to both sides. I get 5q minus 10 is equal to 10. Add 10 to both sides now, so I get 5q is equal to 20. And then finally, divide through by 5, so I get that q is equal to 4 here. Okay, so that's our solution to part A, giving us the value of q. So for part B here, I have to find the 30th term in this sequence. So to answer part B here, we need the nth term. Let's just recall the formula for the nth term. So un is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. Okay. So remember, a is the first term. n in this case would be the 30 here. That's the 30th term that we're looking for. And d is our common difference. So to find a and d here, we need the... Basically, we just need to think about the sequence. So q here, that would be just 4. So that's my first term. We've got 4, 10, and then 4q here. So 4 times 4 gives me 16. So what I can see here is that we're increasing by 6 each time. So we add 6, add 6 here, and so on. Okay. So in that case, then a is equal to the first term, which is 4. D here is the common difference, which is um, adding 6, so plus 6. And then n here. We're looking for the 30th term, so n is equal to 30. If we just substitute in everything here appropriately, I'm going to find u30, and that's equal to a, which is 4, plus n minus 1, so that's 30 minus 1, and then we times that by d here, which is 6. So we evaluate this here, I've got 4 plus 29 times 6. And again, just put this into your calculator. You don't need to do it by hand. What you should get here is 178. So 1, 7, 8 there. Okay, so the 30th term in the sequence is 178. And there we have it. So that's our solution to question 2. And that brings us to the end of this video on arithmetic sequences. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at an arithmetic series.